Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is the player camera manager? Start camera fade node. Let's run our quick little example. When I hit start fade, it lets me know that the fade has started and it will fade to black. I run it again, it'll do the same thing. So let's look at this node. This is the start camera fade node. If you type in fade, the reason you can't find it is it is a requirement from the get player camera manager node because it requires a player camera manager in order to you know find a camera to fade most of the time most people don't know about these nodes because they are part of the camera manager so if you get your player camera manager and this will return the camera managed by the player you can go ahead and drag off and you'll find under camera fades the camera fade nodes and we'll work with the start camera fade these are our default settings, and our default settings are literally going to do nothing. You don't have anything to go to or from, and you have no color or duration. So in order to go through our inputs, let's look at them. We have our from alpha. This is our basically starting color, starting opacity, either zero for fully transparent or one for opaque. You cannot see through it at all. Two alpha is going to be your end point. Most of the time, you're probably going to go from like a 0 to a 1. That means basically clear to solid. Duration is the duration for the fade in seconds. And then after that, you have your color. Now, these are going to be the primary ones that you're going to want to work with. Everything else is going to be optional. And technically, you don't even need to adjust your fade because, well, by default, it's going to be black and that's going to be your default fade. So if we look at these settings here and I run it, you'll notice it starts off clear. I hit start fade over two seconds, which is my duration. If you look at our duration here, it's gonna fade from clear to solid, black. We run it, clear to solid and black. Now you notice it's not staying black. That's because that is an option. There are two booleans here, should fade audio and hold when finished. Basically, should the audio fade out along with our color? So if you have audio playing, it'll go ahead and just slowly move down the global audio volume. And then hold when finish is, will it, when it hits our duration, hold at our two color? So if I change this, well, two color and duration, uh, two color and opacity. So if I hold when finished and hit play, this time it will stay black. We start it up again, it'll go from my start color to my end color. So if you want to fade from a solid dark color to the light color, then you would just basically flip these. You would start at 1 and end at 0. Now when I run this, we'll see it go from black to clear. And of course, if you want to change the color, maybe it was, you know, we'll do something. Let's go with more of a red. Let's go with a uh, Red like that, we'll make it like that, and we'll hit play. And you can do it something like that. You could even simulate a damage flash. Maybe something not quite as solid from alpha, maybe 0.7. And you could simulate getting hit. Every time you hit, you do a little camera fade like this. Now keep in mind that there, the camera fade, if you do go from, let's say, a 0 to a 1, and you hold this camera, is going to stay faded until you use one of the other nodes to stop the fade. That is going to wrap up our start camera fade node. It's useful if you need to fade your player's camera to or from a color and an opacity. And it's also useful for small effects like you saw, maybe like a hit effect. 